Hello YouTubers, you're watching Dansky and in this tutorial we're going to learn how to quickly and easily add a collection of images to a screen design in Adobe XD. So you can see here that we have the welcome screen, we're going to start by selecting iPhone 6. And this will give us our artboard here. And we can then select the rectangle tool, left click and hold shift to create a square. And we can then untick border and just give this a fill. Any color is absolutely fine for now. So if we then select iPhone 6 here at the top by clicking on the text, you can see that the artboard has a width of 375 pixels. So because we want our hero image here to be a square and take up the width of our artboard, we can move it into the top left corner and then holding shift, just drag from that bottom right corner to bring that up. So you can see here now it's 375 wide, 375 high, or you can manually select the shape and just enter those values up there. Either way is absolutely fine. But as with everything in XD, it snaps nicely in place with these guides. So now we're going to select the rectangle tool and create another square. So if we just left click and hold shift, remove the border, give it a fill, now for our images, we're going to have the hero image at the top, and then we're going to be having three images across, and then we're going to repeat those down. So it's going to be like an image gallery. So if we're going to have three images across, we need to take the width of the artboard, that's 375, and divide that by three. So if we do that now, we've got 375 divided by three. Okay, so that gives us one, two, five. So this square here needs to be 125 pixels wide and 125 pixels high. And we can snap that in place there. Now what we're going to do, we're going to select this smaller square, click on the repeat grid button over here in the property inspector, and you'll see you get these green guides pop up. Now we have these little sliders here that you can drag out. So if we left click and drag on that right one, and we're going to drag this all the way to the edge. So it should snap nicely at the edge of the artboard there. Now this doesn't really divide equally, and that's because the repeat grid tool automatically adds a gutter in. That's the spacing here marked in pink between the different shapes. So if we drag this by left clicking and just move that to the left, you'll see the gutter reduces, now, based on our calculation of dividing the artboard width by three, the gutter should be zero. We've divided it exactly by three, so there's no divider, no spacing. All the images are going to line up next to one another. So now we've removed the gutter, we can drag this slider out. And there you go, you can see as I'm mousing over, you're getting the guides pop up, showing that we have three squares there. And we could do the same with the bottom one. We'll drag that all the way to the bottom. Just drag up by left clicking in that pink space until the gutter says zero. And then just drag to the bottom. So there we go. We've now created our repeat grid group at the bottom there. So we have this one image space at the top. We have a repeat grid down here with lots of image spaces. So the next step is to select this top image and I'm going to bring up my folder of images. Now I've numbered them one to nine and all I'm going to do is just drag number one, this is going to be the hero graphic, onto that top space and let go. And you'll see it automatically adds it in, centralizes it and crops it for you. Now what we're going to do is just left click to select the repeat grid group and we're going to left click on number two remember that the order in which you select these different images will determine what position they go into in your grid here so if I were to select two four and six image two four and six would be on the top row but for this tutorial I'm just going to left click on number two hold shift and click on number nine, and then drag all of these onto that top left image space. And you'll see here, 
that it automatically populates all of the other ones with the imagery. And there we go. That's how you quickly and easily add a selection of images to a screen design in Adobe XD. As always, guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care, and I'll see you next time.